in Portland, or rather just outside of it, just a little bit to the south, there's a neat place called Platt Auto. I've heard about them a bunch, but I've never been here. It's uh, a place where you can get your hands on a gently used secondhand EV. And uh, if you look around, they might have a couple, which is pretty awesome. I've got Jack here with me. Jack, good to meet you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so uh, let's start with the obvious. What is this place? What do you do here? Yeah, so we sell, as you say, gently used EVs. A lot of them are our lease returns, so most of our inventory is between two and four years old. Uh, we have some favorite models. We really love our Nissan Leafs. We sold more of those than anything else. Recently, the Chevy Bolts have been popular, but we try to keep a, a good variety on the lot. Now, Chevy is the only company other than Tesla that used up their first round of, in, of incentives. Yes. They actually sold some units. Yes. Now, there's a, there's a lot of them out there, and uh, it's definitely been reflecting recently. They've been a majority of our, probably of our sales in the last few months, but they have just such a great value. Everyone wants the most range and for the least money, so that's, a, that's why the Bolts move pretty quick. And that's kind of my impression of the, of the Bolt is it's affordable, and I'll tell you, it to me at least, drives as good as any compact rental I've ever rented. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're quality little cars, they're fun to drive. They have no business being as fast as they are. And most most people, you know, get out of their little Honda Fit and try out a try out a Chevy Bolt and they're blown away. That's funny. I haven't driven a Honda Fit. Yeah, they're not quick, so. Oh really? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's unfortunate. They're fun cars, but you know, most people will, will get into an EV looking to save money and try to find something that's just practical and you know does what they need to do on a day to day, but they quickly realize they're they're fun to drive and the quality of the, the driving experience and living with them is also much more enjoyable. Now I should point out this is not a sponsored video. I know these guys because I'm a very active member of the Oregon Electric Vehicle Association and some of their guys are members as well. Uh, Peter is not here today. Right now he's off delivering a car. But uh, I've talked with him a bunch of times. Uh, I actually only recently realized that he worked here. I didn't make that connection <laughs> before. So somebody comes in, and as you guys know, as you guys know, EVs are only for rich people. Of course. Of course. Yeah. So you guys have, what, $300,000 cars? No, I joke. $100,000 <laughs> cars? No, I still joke. If you go on the website at Platt Auto, you will see uh, the highest one when I looked was, I think, 37. Yeah. With a whole lot in the 20 and under range. Our average vehicle price is pretty close to 17,000. So a, a lot of our cars go for the mid to even low teens sometimes. And yeah, I mean, a nice EV, I mean, you can get a loaded Audi for $30,000. <laughs> uh, you can get a pretty high-end Nissan Leaf with, you know, the big battery and all the bells and whistles for maybe 20000 um, So, yeah, no, you can get a whole lot of EV for, you know, what's relatively not a lot of money compared to what cars go these days. Now, when you're talking about the Gen 1 Leafs, this is the yeah. Gen 1, right? Absolutely. A little frog eyes. These are, um, they're a lot of fun. They're uh, surprisingly sporty. They are short range. Uh, what does this run? Fifty thousand? <laughs> Luckily, they're they're single digit thousands, so you can get them six, seven, eight thousand for a nice old one in good condition with a good battery. Uh, we try to cherry pick ones with with the best batteries. So. And I've seen that a lot. The Leafs are the people I've known who drive them love them. The only reason they don't uh, have it as their only car is because the range is shorter. But for a commuter it's as close to free as you're going to get. That's, I got a little 2012 Leaf for exactly that. Does all my commuting, my grocery shopping, and I got something else when I want to go to the beach. So if I find a Nissan Leaf that's, let's say, three years old. Yes. It's nine grand. It's never been sold before. Mm -hmm. How much is it after my point of sale rebate? It's going to be $4,000 less if you're, well, let's say. A third of it. If we're looking. 30%. So it's like six grand. Yes, you're probably not going to find a three-year-old one at okay. that price. Okay, over three years old. <laughs> over so, three. Yes, if you're looking for, I mean, this old body style, you'll find them, a lot of them at the 2015, 2013s. Sure. So you're looking at cars that are between, you know, nine to nine to 10 years old. Those cars, you'll get 30% off of a car that's six to $7,000. So you're out the door. 30% off of that's going to get you pretty close to $4,000. That's so 
$4,000. Again, only for rich people, Jack. You yeah. know this. No. You know this. You got to trade in your rolls for that. So this is, you got an e-tron here. How cool is that? We've recently fell in love with these. They've, uh, they've, everybody walks by and they have the exact thought that, uh, that everybody does, that EVs are expensive. I can't get into these cars unless I'm dropping six figures, but for $30,000, you can get a pure electric EV with all wheel drive and massage seats with a sunroof and self-driving tech and yeah, a lot of they're everything. I mean, it's an Audi. If you <laughs> if you haven't driven one, drive one. Um, they're I'll nice buy. cars. And uh, again, uh, you know, we joke about the fifty thousand, eighty thousand, but th in the thirties, the average new car price last year came down to forty three thousand. Yeah. What a bargain! Forty three thousand. And I've seen a lot of people complaining that's still too much. And I agree but every used car starts its life as a new car. So you get um, options. You know, it wasn't that long ago, this lot would have had how many different models? Five, six? Oh, I remember when, when I started working here in 2019, we had 80 Nissan Leafs and a Volkswagen Eagle. <laughs> so it was, uh, we lived for the, for the Nissan Leafs. And yeah, just in the last few years, we've been able to even not too long ago, we just had Leafs and Bolts and, you know, E-Golfs. Yeah, you're right. Five models is about what we had. But now there's all sorts of variety out there and you can really get into things that are bigger cars where everything used to be a hatchback. Now people can get SUVs, they can get sedans yeah. and all sorts of shapes and sizes of what they want. Now I had a chance to ride in a Nissan Aria at the LA Auto Show last year and it was everything I expected. It was smooth, it was quiet, it was powerful. Um, it was early in the day and there weren't enough people doing test drives, so they took us around the little course twice, which was unnecessary, bit nauseating at that point. Felt bad for the driver, they were stuck there all day. <laughs> but these are fine cars. Um, and you've got your ultrasonic sensors, for those of you who, like me, are a little annoyed by the lack of ultrasonics on the new configuration of Tesla, then there you go. And you've got a lot, you've got the Hyundai, you've got, and of course you've got the, uh, a couple of hybrids in, Go ahead and explain uh, the thinking there. Yeah, so we really believe that if you can make an electric car work, it's you know close to the best option out there because it's so much better to save on all the gas money, save on all the maintenance costs, your oil changes, your transmission uh, services and all that. But it doesn't quite work for everybody. We get a lot of people from Portland who live in an apartment. They don't have the, the reliable, you know, at home charging that uh, that's kind of needed right now if you want to drive an EV every day. So we have a few hybrids. We try to be as much a plug in hybrid uh, as we can when we have them in so we can get people to the next best option. You know, maybe you can't go pure EV, but we can get you in the next thing to save you as much gas money as we can. And yeah. And at the very least, if someone's on the fence, they can test drive both and see which one they actually like. Options. Options and it's true. Great. you you. I'd like to say that it's already time for the apartment dwellers to make the transition, but I understand the practicality. If you don't have charging at home, it is a lot more work. So one thing I like about Platt is on the website, they have the prices and those are the prices. I understand they have a no dick or sticker policy. Is that, is that correct? Absolutely. Yeah. We really try to be a low pressure sales environment. So with our one price dicker, policy, I just realized it means to haggle. Never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> Whatever you call it. <laughs> right. The one um, price. The one price policy. So we love it because no matter who you are, whenever you come in, if you're the hardest negotiator or the nicest grandma in the world, everybody leaves here with the same price. So we price our cars aggressively, you know, to what the market says they should be at. And um, that way nobody has to stress what the worst part of car sailings of, or <laughs> the worst part of car buying of negotiating with a, a sales guy in a dark office. Uh, <laughs> And that's, and that's uh, a thing I heard from people in the Oregon Electric Vehicle Association who recommended you because at that event that I was at last summer that I told you about, a lot of people mentioned you guys by name and said that it's not a hassle. If you walk in and want to drive something and you don't like it, just leave. It's fine. No one's chasing you to the parking lot. And it's an information kind of place, an education kind of place. The cars sell themselves. And if you have, the best part is, <laughs> If you go to a lot of dealerships, they will not be interested in selling you an EV and their sales force is not educated on EVs. 
But here, if you have questions, if you want to know how home charging works, which apps to add to find best charging, where to get free juice, Jack and his people know what's going on. So tell me about this car. Well, I think you rolled up in this one, oh, didn't Oh yeah, you? that one's mine. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. That's true. That, you got me there. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got a good mix. The Bolt, Bolt EUV, uh, you've got the Fiat Audis, 500 electric over the, there. Yeah, those are, those are just fun. There was a gentleman who brought one to that event uh, yep. to show it off. And uh, he said, yeah, it's so impractical for what I need, but I love it. No, it was my first electric car. It was one of the, just like that one, not with the sport package, but a little silver 500E. And they're the perfect around town car, small, easy to park, fun to drive. You can fit two people in there. And if you got more friends, you can buy something bigger, but that's a- uh, Is it a two really seat? Well. It's, just, it's a four seater that is a two seater. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, a two door. Yeah. You can get tiny people in the back. I put my dad back there once and he wasn't stoked. When I owned my, <laughs> my 500E, I always had the seats folded down and the, the dog in the back are all my stuff. So oh wow. I treat so, it as a two seater with a big trunk. Oh yeah, that's pretty tight. That's pretty tight. But yeah. if you slide the seats forward, it's for kids it might work. I've got the three row option and oh, the third row is definitely tight, but it works for us because you've seen my children are not giants. There we go. And yeah, so you've got the Nissans, you've got a good mix and it rotates. All the time, all the time. I mean, we go through a lot of cars. So, you know, a lot of those people who come on the line, they don't find what they what they need. We have a great wish list system where you can tell me what you're looking for. I'll put you on my list and I can send you a notification of, you know, exactly the model you're looking for, exactly the color you want, you know, the right mileage range that you're looking for. So, you know, we're going through cars very frequently. So if it's not here today, we'll be here soon. Yeah. And yeah, and the, you can you can look for yourself on the website and see that the prices are, at least in my estimation, reasonable. Uh, and they do actually go through the cars when they come in to yes. make sure that they're up to spec. Yeah, not here, but a little bit down the road, we have our own shop that, uh, that the cars run through. It's where they get detailed. It's where they get inspected. Um, so yeah, all the cars are, are gone through and they're guaranteed by a couple things from us. So we have a return policy and we have a 90 day warranty on most of our vehicles. Okay. So, you know, if we missed anything, if there's any problem with the car, the cars are solding, you know, as new, everything should be working. We're not going to sell a car with a warning light, bald tires or anything like that. So, right. uh, we, the cars are guaranteed by us and, you know, a lot of our customers are happy that they have the confidence in the vehicles they're buying. Yeah. And it's all about repeat business and word of mouth. Um, I noticed you don't have Super Bowl ads, no. so uh, <laughs> that makes it a little harder to to find <laughs> new customers without the word of mouth, without direct referrals. Um, yeah, it's you know a bit south of town. It's a bit out of the way, but if that's what it takes to get a better price, then by all means, uh, you guys end up the winner. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. So uh, what I'll do is uh, go in the back office and haggle with these guys and uh, talk to them about uh, reviewing some cars uh, in the future. Uh, what have we missed? What do we misunderstand? What would you like to know from Jack and people like him about a place like this? And is there one in your town and would you recommend it? Everybody else, you know, like, subscribe, do the usual and stay tuned, stay juicy. And I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots in your uh, used uh, 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 electric uh, uh, mini. <laughs>